Okay, spin, now spin, you spin. need to activate powers. Hi, my name is Emma. I'm Jonna. And I'm Noah. And today we're going to be reviewing the Roto Motion Mixer. And what this is, is basically a thing where you put it in this powder into this little mold, and then you dry it, and then you can paint your own little amazing dinosaur. It's magical. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but we're going to show you guys how to use it. This can get a little messy, so we cover up our table with this orange felt. And this is the Roto Motion Mixer, and you can make three different dinosaurs, but with all the powder in here, you can make six dinosaurs in all. This is hand powered, you don't need any batteries. Just in case you're wondering, this is $24.99 and you can buy it from Kmart or Target. Or you can get this on Amazon. And I think this would be a good gift for any kid that likes like crafty stuff and painting and airbrush stuff and also kids that like dinosaurs. So just be aware that this might stain your clothes. So wear something that you don't really care about this way you don't stain something you love. This is recommended for kids six and up. Okay, so this is what the front looks like. It has dinosaurs on it, the mold, and the whole product. On the sides, it has a little way of how to do it. And on the back, it shows everything that comes in the box. So let's take a look at what's inside this box. It comes with six fast cast powder bags, a measuring cup, three dino molds. It comes with the Triceratops, Stegosaurus and the T-Rex. It comes with four dino paints and two aging washes. It comes with a paintbrush, a sponge, a scraper tool, and a stir stick. And last but not least, the Roto Motion Mixer Machine. So now I'm going to test out the mixer. And you just put the mold in there and then you twist this part and then this thing comes out. Oops. This thing comes out and it attaches to it and after it clicks you've got it in there and then you mix it around like this, like one of those crazy amusement park rides. And then as you do that, you're mixing around the things. Okay, in the box of the Rotom Motion Mixer Dino Lab, you get um, teal, orange, and gold. If you want more colors, you should get the powder refill pack, which comes with more colors. And if you get the powder refill pack, then you get you will get these colors. Gold, tan, red, blue, teal, green, gray, and orange. All right guys, you need to choose a dino mold. I chose the Stegosaurus mold. I chose the Triceratops. I chose a T-Rex. Okay, now you need to snap the four mold blocks into closed positions, leaving the mold cap open. Okay, so now we need to attach the dino mold onto the inner hex post of the C-arm so the top of the mold is facing up. Okay, so you need to turn the lock clockwise to lock the mold into place. Now we're going to fill the measuring cups up to the line. Yeah. So now you have to choose your fast cast powder bag. Okay, I'm choosing red. Okay, so empty your whole bag into the measuring cup and then grab the stir stick and then start stirring. Okay. And then you're going to stir for 45 to 90 seconds. Go ahead and dump it all in. So okay, now what do I do? You keep mixing until the powder is dissolved and begins to thicken to a pudding-like consistency. Mine's already kind of pudding. Only because there's powder. In it. And then we're going to dump it in the mold at about one minute. I think it should be 45 seconds. Can I move? Yeah, 45 I'm seconds. I'm moving this All, All right. right, everybody go dump it. Okay, so dump and tap it lightly to remove air bubbles. Dump how far? Make sure to fill it to the top of the mold opening. And then you wait 1.5 minutes and then you snap the mold. Tap it. You're tapping right now. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, so you guys can close the top. Go, 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 go. Close the top. Everyone, okay, so spin it slowly. Mine's leaking, but that doesn't really matter. You're going to spin for one minute, so let me start that. So keep spinning. So now you guys need to remove the bowl from the Roto Motion Mixer Machine. Now we can clean up and those just will sit for 15 minutes. And so now we're going to let these dry and we're going to create a diorama for the little dinosaurs out of, out of shoe boxes. Mommy and I picked out a bunch of stuff at the store that we thought would be good for a diorama.
So open the mold locks, Jonah and or Emma and Noah. Gently separate the two mold halves and release the dinosaur. Um, okay. If the dinosaur does not easily pull out, gently tap the back side of the mold until it pulls out. Whoa, Noah. Ooh. Ooh. That's cool. Here we go. I'm pretty sure this piece is okay. You don't want it to fall from too far. Okay, and now you're supposed to snap off the post and use the scraper tool to clean. Ooh, you did it! Snap off the post? What do you think? Ooh, it's actually pretty cool. You're supposed to use your little tool to... Yeah, there's bubbles. I thought it was on this side, but not on this side. Yeah. Its foot fell off. Well, you have a glue gun over there. Just glue it back on. Huh. So we're going to put our dinosaurs in our dioramas. This way they can dry off. And they're supposed to completely dry before we paint them, so we're gonna wait until they're completely dry before we paint them. So now we're at the last step where we paint our dinosaurs, and once your dinosaur is dry, you can already start painting. We're going to use the colors and the aging wash that came with it, but if you want more colors, or if we want to use more colors, we're going to be using some paint that we bought. We have a plate to put our colors on, and we have water to dip our brushes in. And we have our dinosaurs to paint on. Let's do this. stuff and we each made our own different little dioramas and our own little different dinosaurs and I our have own different biomes and everything. Okay so mine is like basically what you see in this scene but like coming out at you like there's vines up here there's a little tree there's leaves there's a sand pit there's another tree and mine is kind of like a valley because in the background you can see it as a valley and I recreated one of the trees that was in the picture and I also made my dinosaur fit in with its surroundings. And I have a volcano, a working volcano that I will show you later. And um, I have some rocks and some pretty flowers and a hanging cloud. And some clouds back here and vines. Okay, I'm, um, mine is a lush desert. It has a little bit, of, there's a bunch of water in it. So that means there's a bunch of life there. There's some cactuses. There's some trees. Cacti. Cacti. And there's some bushes. And there's some rocks and some grass. It's like a little tumbleweeds too. There's, and yeah. There's a puddle. There's a bunch of sand because it's like a desert. I and mine has a grand finale and mommy helped put the volcano in there. And also mommy had the idea for a working volcano. In here we have food coloring, dish soap, warm water, and baking soda. And now all we need to do is pour in the vinegar. Ooh. That's fancy. That's really fancy. I'm gonna get out through the hole. No! Oh, it smells of vinegar. Oh, vinegar. And comment down below on whose diorama and dinosaur you liked best. And yeah. And comment why you liked it the best. So we'd like to thank Rose Art for sending us this really cool dinosaur toy. And also for sponsoring this video. So thank you for watching. Please comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, and bye, YouTube. Peace out, YouTube. See you tomorrow, YouTube. Yeah.